What the hink? All right, all right. Welcome one, welcome all. I know I haven't posted anything in about two weeks, and I'm sorry. And moving t across the state and getting a life again is hard. And I've been doing a lot of training for this one job while trying to find another job or two. And I've been working out a ton. <clears throat> oh, hold up. Watch these. Watch these. Ready? Ready? Oh, I just cramped my forearm. All right, live reaction. I'm going to get these down. The, the guns ain't that sick yet. So, let's get into this. One Piece chapter 943, Smile. Cover page request, Robin using tarantula spider thread to knit. Pen name, Noda Skywalker, Oda Senpai. Robin looks good, per usual. Thick. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna have to get up a new regular uploading schedule again because I've been slacking because life's been tough but let's get into it flashback Wano country Hakumai a glimpse of the past Twitter's going nuts right now can't look at it why were you trying to steal so much money because Sir Odin needed money if you were going to execute us and get it over with already you hedgehog that damn Odin. He sure recruited some odd characters. I will give you the money you tried to steal. Huh? What? Wait, Lord Yasue. If you do that, then Hakumai will run out of... Dot, dot, dot. So, young Raizo. Young... Neko. Young... Inu. Na... Kinemon. Conjuro. Asher Doji. And then it looks like Okiku. And then there's the... Blurred out, probably the Kappa... Cap probably Kalmatsu. Take this to use it wisely. Even more, are you being serious? Is something wrong with you? Is this some sort of trap? Do you like Odin? Of course, we all owe him a great debt. If you, if what you say is true, then use this money to start over anew. Learn some manners and buy some books. Fill yourselves with knowledge and wisdom. If hoodlums like you were to become the retainers of Odin as you are right now, you would just bring some shame to his name. So. Everyone seems to be a hoodwink, hood rat before St. Hedgehog. Like, even Kinemon. Because I think that's Kinemon who's, like, yelling at him. It would make sense that it's him. And he kind of slapped some manners into him, so that's cool. He will be the shogun of the Wano country one day, and pe the people who will support him through it all must be the best samurai in the entire country. A servant's duty is to protect their master. All of you must make yourselves the capitals. Know the entire country's guardians understood so now we're moving to present day and you see um yasu smiling kinemon crying Kondro crying raizo crying inu crying lord yasue even shoot tomorrow's crying and you can see the tears on kawamatsu's face i hopefully we get a full shot of him the flower capital resetsu district prison yasu is dead ya ha 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 hey Throw the citizens of Ibisu Town out of here. What's wrong with them? They're so creepy. Tony Yasu, ah ha ha. So they're all like crying and screaming at the same time because they can't really be sad. And we're probably going to learn about the smile fruits. Get out of the capital, you lowlife scum. No way, ah ha ha ha. I refuse to leave this place. Why are they laughing at Lord Yasue's death? Daddy, even Toko's crying. This is Shogun Orochi's most heinous crime. Daddy, foo foo foo. And Zoro's just like this. <laughs> He's about to slap he has brought misery to all of these people and will not even allow them to grieve what is this place if not hell itself tell me sir zoro juro i thought smiles were just artificial devil fruits so there's a lot more going on to it i will not even allow them to grieve what is this place if not hell itself Mwahahaha. What a fitting end for you, Yasue. So Orochi is yelling, how audacious of you to have lived all this time in my Wano country. That was very rude of you, you hedge ho No, you sewer rat. And Zoro's like, yes, everyone, send him off to the afterlife with your laughter. This is Wano country, the bright, cheerful Wano country. One might even make mistake it as heaven here. Damn it, Tony Yasue was killed. We didn't make it in time. Lord Yasue. For us to not notice what he was up to until his until he was crucified and put on display, this is a blunder worthy of death. 
But what's up with these people? Isn't it strange, Lord Yasue? The people of Ibisu Town who were all attached to him are laughing, smiling. I wonder if Zoro's going to turn on Orochi right now. And we cut it away. Udon Prisoner Minds. Look, those people are crazy. We get Queen and Luffy and Grandpa Hyo are still fat in the back. Got the Hyoshes in the back. They're laughing at the execution of a former daimyo. Orochi is ruthless. Lord Yasue, so Hyo's crying. To think that you survived this long, there's a reason, isn't there? Doesn't matter who he was. Nobody should laugh when someone dies. So Luffy's like pissed. It is probably a side effect of the smile. There are people like that here too. People who could not do anything but laugh. So our plan was exposed. That is why you, Lord Yasue. Yeah, because Yasue sent it back to Ground Zero. Onigashima. Ooh, we get Kaido. You sure got poor taste, Orochi. Wodo, 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 wodo. Huh. We just get one panel of Kaido. And he's drinking again. Curry Bakura of town. Hey, Inuyarashi Kinemon. Do you know about the smiles? So, oh, this might be where Shoot Tomorrow turns to the good guys, too. Or to the Alliance. He should have explained this to you all earlier. The smiles of those who live in Ibisu Town are just a mask, huh? Those smiles are nothing more than a mask they cannot take off for the rest of their lives. Several years ago, Kaido and Orochi started to trade the weapons made in this country for a certain man-made fruit known as Smile. Upon eating the fruit in exchange for their ability to swim, they would be granted the ferocious power of animals and it is a terrifying fruit. Artificial fruits, you mean from the factory we destroyed? Yes, Kinemon told me about that. Kaido's goal is to use that fruit to strengthen his forces and make them monsters in order to have the strongest pirate crew in the world. We know that. But of course, there is always a risk when it comes to things that sound too good to be true. Here comes the claws. The success rate of artificial enhancement is 10%. So only 10% of smiles actually work. Actually, that makes a lot more sense because you have like the gifters and the pleasures and all that. If 10 people were to eat the fruit, only one person would obtain a power. Those who ate the nine, the nine who ate the faulty fruits receive only the side effects. On top of being unable to swim due to the incomplete formula as a side effect, they also lose the ability to become sad or angry. Then they can only smile and laugh. Kaido's beast pirates are split into three main forces. The ones who have yet to eat a fruit, they wait for the chance to become beasts. The waiters. Gifters, pleasures, waiters. And I'm guessing they're not including like the top ranking calamities, the flying six, the headliners. Then there are the powerful 10% that have been bestowed the power of beasts. They are known as the gifters. Okay, so we get a breakdown of his crew now. Lastly, there are the unfortunate ones who ate the faulty fruits, the laughing warriors, the pleasures. And as if to mock those unfortunate souls, they named the fruit after its effect, Smiles. That's a sick panel. It's Caesar, Kaido, and Dofi. Dofi. I always thought it was a weird name for a devil fruit, but... I never knew its true meaning. This is only the only tip of the iceberg. Orochi set his eyes on the faulty fruits after all the fruits were only bitten into once. Although they were failures, they still retained the side effects afterwards, which allowed for the creation of more pleasures. You mean, deaths were a daily occurrence in the capital's leftover town, and thus, so were the tears and grief. Orochi, who found all of this very unpleasant, started mixing the faulty smiles into the capital's leftovers that were to be thrown out. Oh. This is an apple. Wow, it's still fresh. We found a whole bunch of them. Let us share them with everyone. Here, feed these to the sick. What a delicious apple. After eating just a few of them, anybody would be able to figure out the true nature of those fruits. But in the end, the people of that leftover town could not win it against their empty stomachs. Reminded that Ibisu is the god of fortune and is always depicted as a man with a wide smile on his face. A cheerful town where frowns do not exist. That was how Ibisu town came to be. From a glance, everyone looks happy, but in reality, it is a tragic town where one cannot show sadness even if their family dies. Damn. So please do not blame those laughing people. Your luck will run out if you do not smile. 
If we did not laugh, it would just be a waste, a massive waste. And Zoro's looking pit. He's got like a vein like right here. Who the fuck has cheek veins? He's mad. Hey, stop it, young lady. Get behind the fence. Daddy, I brought you some really good medicine. Ah, ha, ha. Toko. She slipped through the fence. Bring her back immediately. Stop, Toko. Come back here right now. Rochi's going to see her so quick. Hey, that's the kid who came to eat the soba earlier. Oh, Toko, now that you mention it, that kid, she's Tony Yasu's daughter. What? Please, Toko, come back here. You will seem by Orochi. Out of my way. Kya. And Orochi's loading up the shoddy again. Please wake up, Daddy. This medicine will cure all of your wounds. It is called toad oil. And, oh, Toko, I'm so sorry. That medicine is not... I found you, you damn brat. Oh, phew, if Orochi... Oh, now Zoro's gonna snipe the bullet out of the air. Or catch it with his teeth. I see you were the Yasui's daughter, and no wonder you are so insolent. If you had not laughed so foolishly back then, Komarasaki would still be a lively little rat. Both of you, parent and child, anger me to no end. Rono Toko, please do not let yourself die too. Ah ha ha, he's got like Ryan Sight's headshot. He knows where I was coming in to save the day. Please get better, daddy. You shall be executed. Gah! Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Huh? And you see Zoro swipe in. And, oh. Zoro and Sanji come in? That man, he is the wanted man, the magistrate killer. What? And that guy, he is the soba shop owner that disrespected the Kiyoshiro family, huh? They are Zoro, Jiro, and Songoro. Crumble, crumble. Those two have assembled. That's how they meet up. Oh, fuck. That's tough. I don't know if I like it like that, but that's a tough way for them to meet up. What are they going to do? Talk it out and fight against Orochi right now? They're not going to. Sanji's like... Sanji is like, oh, Moss Head. But Zoro's like pissed looking. Like pissed looking. I got another one. We're looking for experienced typesetters and redrawers. Nope, that's it. Good chapter. Good chapter. This last panel of Zoro and Sanji is T-U-F-F. So we have X Drake, Hawkins, Orochi, Inuarashi, Ashura Doji, Probably the Flying Six, Orochi, most of the crew, everyone's about to fight. This is a good setup chapter. This is a good, good setup chapter. I can't, oh, I can't believe this is how they link up right now. All right. I'm going to watch Braga's stream. And then I'm going to probably quit out and then watch make my review. I'll see you soon.